when I stand there and go drink, I ask myself, why do I want to be a coach? But this is football. Yeah, um, I am not uh, going to be uh, negative. Uh, my players just failed on one aspect of the game. Just put the ball in the net. They uh, were fantastic over 90 minutes. They worked really hard. They used the ball well. They passed and moved. They opened up ATM so many times that I lost count, even in the first half and in the second half. We did create so many chances not to win one Malaysian Cup, but to win five Malaysian Cup games. We should actually, based on this game, be in the final. So many one-on-ones. And the keeper who was last week very unfortunate was today very fortunate. Um, I feel really sorry for my defenders because they did not deserve this scoreline. The bigger picture is, and obviously we have no points, but ATM scored two goals from two set pieces. <laughs> Apart from that, they did not do anything that I would get hot or cold from. So I can criticize my players here, but I'm not going to criticize them because they only failed on one aspect of the game, is to put the ball in the net. Even at 2-1 down, we created enough chances not to draw, but to win the match. Um, it's disappointing, but this is cup football, okay? In cup football, the unexpected can happen. And we've seen it. Satya himself said that they were very lucky. I think lucky is an understatement. Um, sometimes you get those evenings and sometimes you don't. But one thing is for sure, we failed uh, on a great opportunity because JDT did their job and we failed to do our job. Um, is to win and qualify immediately. But history tells me that Kelantan never does anything easy. They always do it the hard way. So uh, maybe this is good because ATM, we beat ATM very good and they responded and they came back. Big compliment to, to ATM for the character they showed. And uh, if I'm honest, I'm a little bit jealous of the character they showed because I would love to see that also in my players. Um, yes, they were lucky, but they hang in there, hang in there, and they got the change. So, compliment to ATM. We will have to address. And today, we, my strikers and forwards failed to score, but hopefully they'll be sharp against Penang. And now we have to go there and, uh, and get a result. We are not panicking. It's not end of the world, because at the end, ATM have five points, we have six points. JDT is as good as uh, qualified. But the beauty of it is we have to go to Penang, but ATM also have to play Penang. So either way, one of them will drop points. And it, uh, we just have to try and from now on, don't make any more mistakes like this. Penang away now is a must win game because JDT now has qualified. So what if JDT failed to beat ATM? Then we have a, a tricky position. But I hope uh, even uh, whatever team Boyang puts out that they will be good enough to beat ATM. But let's focus on ourselves and we have to first do the job and then look at uh, other teams. It's just too disappointing. Uh, you all witnessed what's happened I did not and couldn't make a change at 1-0 second half until we scored a second goal and it never came, which is uh, very, very disappointing. They also, even if we played 10 hours, they wouldn't score. Only set pieces they can score. And this is why we lost the game. Don't say and criticize Klantan was poor or did we were not poor. Look at the tape again. How many teams can open up a team and create so many chances? Not many. So please choose your words wisely what you write tomorrow in a newspaper.